plants always adapt to the environment that they are growing in, and that includes the earth and the soil and also the stuff coming down. So plants are really good at resisting this top-down kind of pressure. And if you think about it, as it grows up from the earth, there's rain and moisture that falls here. So the plants grow very strong in this direction, resisting forces that come this way so they can hold it up and direct water down toward, of course, into the uh, stem and towards the root of the plant. Well, if I want to use this particular plant as a fresh herb in what I'm cooking, and herb referring to the leaves, the roots and stems, of course, always referring to a spice, I want to take that into account. So I want to act like a little mini lumberjack in my kitchen and kind of break down that top stem a little bit, and then I'm going to pull the plant leaves off of this way. So stemming herbs actually gets a lot easier if you open up the plant a little bit first. Like a lumberjack, if you were going to come cut a branch down, he'd make a little incision right at the top of that, and then you'd notice it would just snap right off. So I'm going to pet my rosemary that also helps to wake up the oil and then starting from the top to the bottom to get a nice easy stem. Voila, nice and clean and nothing but the goodness that I want to use for this rosemary. Same thing would apply for other herbs with more of a tougher stem like mint. If I pet it a little bit, I wake up the oils. Acting, acting like a mini lumberjack in my kitchen, and then bam, right off. Other herbs, though, the more delicate ones, the more fine herbs like parsley and cilantro, these ones, the same thing would apply, but the stems on these plants is just also so tasty. You don't even have to stem these ones if you don't want to. 